Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to build this enterprise data search with the help of Azure OpenAI and Cognitive Search. By following this GitHub guide published by Microsoft, let's get it started. Scroll down to the get started and let's have a look at the prerequisite. Of course, you need to have your Azure subscription ready and also have access to the Azure OpenAI service. And there are multiple ways you can run this demo. What we're going to do here is start with GitHub code space, which is pretty much the easiest, quickest way to get it started. So let's click on that. Select US East and click Create Code Space. Let's start with the project initialization. So, first step create a new folder and switch to it in the terminal. Let's go to our code space. It basically just looks like Visual Studio Code in the browser, but it has all the runtime environment here contained. So you don't need to worry about setting up locally on your PC. Okay. So Beautifier, yes, whatever it asks you to do, just install that. Step one is create a folder. So we come to here, go in your folder, we call it open AI. Search. And we need to move to this folder. So open the AI search. Okay, so we are right under this folder now. Next, run az of login. Paste command back to code space. Enter. You control click this link and paste this code. So let's copy the code first. Control click. Paste. Now you're gonna sign in to your Azure tenants. Pick your tenant. Go continue. Okay, now you can close this window. And it says you have logged in to the Azure. To initialize the project, you're gonna copy this demo that Microsoft has provided for us. Now just be careful what you need to be doing here is selecting East US or South Central US for the region. Okay, so let's find out. Paste. Please enter a new environment name. I'm just gonna call it OpenAI Data Search. Enter. Now the project has been initialized. We're gonna move on to the actual setting up. So we're gonna start from scratch, meaning we're gonna do everything new. We're not gonna use any existing resource groups just to make things a bit easier. Okay, so we're not doing that. We're just gonna start from scratch. First thing we're going to do is run azd up, copy that. What this does is provide Azure resources and deploy this sample to those resources, including building search index based on the files found in the data folder. Let's switch gear to code space. Is that up? Enter. This is our subscription. Go enter. 
Now remember, we need to choose East US, our South East US. You can do one or two, or you can do the South Central US. So let's pick South Central US. And now all the resources will be created and loaded with examples. Okay, so let's let it running for a bit. We'll be back. So finally, the app has been deployed. You can see here it's a success, and you can view the resource created here. So let's click on that. Open the link. This is our resource group created by the deployment. If you go to deployments, you can see all these. These are everything that the application demo has been creating. OK. Make sure you delete this resource group after you tried it out because Azure Open AI is very expensive to use. OK, if we switch back to the instruction, it says, after the application has been success successfully deployed, you will see a URL printed to the user console. Click the URL to interact with the application in your browser. Come back to the code space. Now we can see this URL over here. Now remember, in the instruction, it says all these files under data. That's we've been. That's what we're gonna going to search on. So click on this app. Control click again. Open that. Here we go. Chat with the data. Let's try ask a question. What data do you have? I have information about Northwind standard employee healthcare plan for, from two sources. The information includes tips for employee and how to understand their healthcare plan. So let's ask a more specific question. I haven't read these documents, so I don't know what's in it. Can you summarize the employee benefits for me into dot points? So watching the Microsoft demo video, you see you can uh, do quite a bit with this app. For example, you can go to deploy developer settings and change, uh, do a little bit fine tuning on um, how you're going to use the app. Okay, so now we also in the chat and ask a question. Not quite sure what's the difference. Ask your data, chat your data. Um, oh, look, it reset it when we click this. Let's see. Tell me about a leaf. Tell me about sick leaves. Not sure whether it has this information. No, it doesn't. Tell me anything about the travel benefits. Maybe not that either. Oh, it does. OK, so Northwind provide medical transportation coverage for its employee. OK, so it's not really travel, but it talks about the medical transportation and also what is this about? Non-emergency. OK, so because these are all um, healthcare related, Documents, so maybe I'm asking the wrong question. But the good thing about this app is when you search, it also give you a citation 
of the data that's being quoted to. So this is very handy. I think this app has a, a very useful scenario for enterprise search when your employee searches your vast amount of enterprise data, whether from your ServiceNow or SharePoint. And while you're chatting with the bot about your question, you also can point you to the original document that it quoted to. Uh, what else we can do? Looking back this app, we know the data is be uploaded here. So in theory, you should just replace this with the own data to do test and just rerun the script to load the document again. So maybe we can try that. So looking back at the instruction, in the step one, when we run AZ up, it says this will provision the Azure resources, including building the search index on the files found in the data folder. Okay, so if we have a look at the code, it's talking about all data, all the files under this data folder. And if we have a look at the code on the screen from the output, we can clearly see when the demo is running this script, predocs.py, it started processing all the files under the .data. See all these PDF files getting processed. They get uploaded to the block first. Then the text gets extracted, split to the chunks as well then get saved into the index. So my guess is we just need to replace the files in this data folder. And under the scripts, we just run this predoc.py again to reprocess the data. There wasn't a clear instruction here. How do we update the data? from the instructions, go to the scripts here. Pre-docs.py, that's what we've been looking at. It didn't really say, but I guess that is the script we're gonna use. So let's try that. Because we are running the code under the folder we created, which is the OpenAI search. So I'm actually going to the data folder here to delete these files. And I'm gonna replace them with some of my own files. Then we will run the script again. Now I have uploaded some of my files into this data folder, just some of the earning calls under our folder. We're gonna run the script again. So open the script. Again, I'm opening the scripts for under our folder because that's where we're running from. Come here, let's run this. Hopefully it will process our files this time. We got our first error today, which is not bad. No module named PYPDF, which is a Python library to process PDF files. Now, I don't know why we have this problem when we just run this app individually. Clearly, I don't understand the whole demo, the product. When we run a Z app, it runs the whole package which runs smoothly. But when I just run the script, I'm having this library error. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna install the 
library manually and run the script again. If we are still failing the script, I'm just gonna rerun the AZ app. Basically, just redeploy the whole module and see what happens. That probably won't work either because when we if we do that, it's gonna load back all the example of PDF files and then might overwrite or remove my private files that I just uploaded. But let's see how it works. So the module has been loaded. Let's run this again. No module name Azure. Okay, so it looks like it's a whole package we need to run. So we're just going to try this one last time. And then we'll stop the video. So we are going back to very, very beginning to run AZ the up. And hopefully, hopefully under our folder data, I know the example file will be re-uploaded because it's reprovisioning all the resources, but hopefully our file is still there. So let's see. Oh, it's gonna restart everything, which means it's mostly gonna fail because it's gonna wipe this environment. Okay, I think that's it. For today, before I can work it out how to replace this folder with my own files,